So you have a woman inside of her job, she has her natural hair. Now we know that natural hair in this society of racism, white supremacy, it is an offense in this society and also a thing of fascination as well. So I'm gonna play a short clip of this one sister inside of her job. And I want you to see what her white coworkers is doing to her with her natural hair. It's so weird. You've never seen natural black hair. No, it's just so it grows like this. Oh no. It's so weird. You've never seen natural black hair. No, it's just so it grows like this. Oh no. I just couldn't believe this video when I saw it. I had to rewind this thing at least 20 times. And I'm looking at this and say, wait a minute, are they actually stroking her hair and grabbing her hair like she's some public spectacle? They're, they're petting on her like she's some sort of animal. And she's standing there with this look like kind of dumbfounded. She don't know like kind of what to do. Some people want to say, oh, why she let them do that? They just went on ahead and reached inside her hair. And it's like, okay, you know, because then you go off, then you're the stereotypical black woman or the black man. And then the other white woman say, you never seen natural black hair before? No. And sit up there to keep, like first and foremost, I said, I've done other videos like this in the past. What is wrong with, with those people that like to do that? What is wrong with you? Why are you trying to put your hands in somebody's hair? Black people don't walk up to you and just start grabbing your hair at random. I've never put my hand in nobody's hair at random. Never. That's so weird. Oh, you always want to touch black people's hair. Look at it from a distance. Admire it from a distance. Say, hey, it's cool from a distance. But don't put your hands in it. They don't know where your hands been. You ever heard of a thing called transference of spirits? Don't let nobody be putting their hands on you. You don't know what kind of spirit they have. Shoot, you could have a, a, a blessing and they putting a curse on you. Don't let people uh, do that to you. That is not at all flattery. That's mockery. Cause they don't walk up to no other group of people and do that too. They don't walk up to Asians and grab their hair. Their hair is different than, than white folks hair. They don't walk up to nobody else and do that, but just black folks when they have their natural hair that grows out of our heads. We as black folks have to, as I stated before, my mantra for this decade is take our culture back completely. Our hair, our media, our style of dress, our dance. We need to take everything back to ourselves. And part of that is don't you let those people touch your hair. The number one that's weirdo. That is so weirdo. You, you circle in her, touching her hair. The other guy like, no, I've never seen nothing like that. Where do you live? Where do you live? You don't have the internet. You don't have a TV, nothing that you never seen a black person with natural hair. Surely you can see that on the internet, go on Google, type in black people with natural hair and it's going to pop up black people with natural hair. You see all the pictures you want of black people. How is it that you're that ignorant that you say you've never seen it before? So you said you've never seen a black person at all like that. Everybody had either a perm or, or hair extensions or something. Nobody had their natural hair. Nobody, you've never seen dreadlocks before. You've never seen uh, box braids. You've never seen cornrows. You've never seen any of that. Now you living in the stick somewhere, okay, but that's your fault for not educating yourself. But this video just annoys me. But it's like the last video I've done like this, black woman standing in line to get some food and the white woman walk up to her and start touching her hair. Like, why do you feel that you could just touch black people? See, that's what I'm saying. It's colonizers, man, because they can just walk up to you and invade your space and there's nothing to it because that's that colonizing mentality. See, everybody else they respect because they didn't really colonize them in this country, but they colonized black people. Keep your hands to yourself. It's just that simple. We don't know your hands been, we don't know if you went to the restroom and didn't wash your hands because I've heard many stories when women say that they'll have a woman go in the restroom and don't wash her hands. You don't know if that woman washed her hands and putting all her nasty, it could be fecal matter and everything else on her hand. You don't know who's putting it in your hair. No, 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 please brothers, you too. Don't let them touch your hair.
Tell them to touch your own hair or admire it from a distance. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story, uh, this woman's job. But see, you know one place is not going to happen at, at all? In Africa. That's why I tell you, we got some trips coming up. You won't experience that. You walk around with your natural hair because other people got natural hair just like you. It's not abnormal to have natural hair on the continent. You can click the link and maybe we go to Senegal and Gambia. And then after Senegal and Gambia, you have South Africa in September. And then we'll be announcing a date for October here in the next few days for Kenya. So we're going to have three trips coming up this year. But for sure right now, definitely may you want to go there because they have an Africa day. You've never been to Africa day and no one's going to pet your hair or make a public spectacle of you in Senegal or Gambia. They're not going to do it because they have the same hair as you. It's sad. When you get there, you will be liberated. You will feel free to be yourself. I'm telling you, I wouldn't be saying this to you or promoting this to you unless I have seen this myself and I want you to experience it. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story with this sister that's being just treated bad, in my opinion. There's nothing flattering about that. And I, I see she's a a young sister, so she may not don't know how to handle it too well. Just trying to be like, uh, like that, you know, with a smile, but no, it is not the thing to be touching black people's hair at all. Keep your hands to yourself. Mambo, it's your girl Kia with Worldviews here in Nairobi, Kenya. Jumbo is Tiffany with Worldviews. My name is Pat Edley. I'm from the UK. I live just outside the second city, Birmingham. My experience on this trip so far has been very, very, very touching in terms of what we've seen at the orphanage, in terms of the beauty of the place and the friendship and the warm, warmth of the people here in Kent. Okay, my name is Adrian Hickman. I'm from Florida, Lake Wales, Florida. I'm currently living in right now. This trip's been great. You know, my wife is always wanted to come to Africa ever since we first got married. To be honest with you, I was scared. Uh, always loved my roots, but just didn't know how it would be received. But we were just having a ball. Everybody's so welcoming. And uh, I, I want to move. We want to move here. My name is Nathan Washington. I'm from San Diego, California. And so far in worldviews, I'm really enjoying it. The experience I'm getting from this place and the people I met here with the group, with worldviews, like words can't explain, like, you know, the beautiful nature out here in Canyon right now. It's just beautiful out here. It's just, it's great to be here in Canyon.